What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Overwatch commentary and we're actually going to be discussing the recent changes that were made to Mercy in Overwatch with the latest patch that came out on January the 30th. Uh, this patch has a lot of people uh, kind of divided, a lot of people are very excited about the changes and a lot of people are not so happy about the changes, most of these being in the people who mained Mercy. Uh, there were also some changes to Junkrat, which we're going to talk about in a separate video because I don't want to get into a big rant right now, so we're going to stick with Mercy for this video and just talk about her a little bit. So they made some changes to Mercy, uh, mainly with the way her Valkyrie ultimate works. They cut down on the duration of it. Uh, they lowered the speed of her Guardian Angel ability that lets her fly around. And most importantly, they changed her Resurrect ability now to where it takes the full amount of time, I believe it's 1.75 seconds, to actually resurrect someone even in the ultimate she does not get a instant alt back from it and she no longer is able to alt, uh, ultimate and res two people with the alt she can only do it one time and it has the full 1.75 second uh, duration so this has made some big time effects on the way mercy is going to be played I think there's some good things about this uh, but I also think there's some bad things about it uh, I spent a good bit of time playing mercy today after the changes were made and to be honest I don't play Mercy a lot because I've never found her to be an attractive hero uh, for my playstyle. I have maybe I don't know maybe 30 hours on her in quick play and I've probably played her about 10, 10, 10 or 12 hours on uh, competitive through six and a half seasons so I don't have a ton of time on her but I have enough to be familiar with her and I've you know had gotten pretty decent with her but still I prefer to play Anna or uh, Zenyatta when it comes to support and even I think Moira now is a little bit more enjoyable than Mercy. One of the problems with Mercy before was she was really boring to play. It was kind of just fly around and hide until you got your res up and then try to pop the big four to five man res. And that upset a lot of people, mainly uh, DPS players who didn't think it was fair that they got punished after using their alt and team wiping that Mercy could come in and just wipe it all away. Personally, I never had a problem with Mercy playing against her in her original state because I'm one of those people where... I think if Mercy's an issue for your team, you need to focus her down and, and get her off the map before you uh, use your ultimate. And I felt like it was kind of a cop-out for them to change her in the first place just to cater to some of the DPS players in the game. But that seems to be an ongoing trend with Blizzard. They know that a lot of people want to play DPS because it's the, the, the cool and the sexy pick. You know, when you're playing the hero, you want to get all the kills and do all the damage, the Call of Duty mentality. Uh, so those are a lot of people play those heroes and they want to make sure those people feel good about themselves So more often than not when the nerfs go through it happens to the tank and the support characters versus the DPS characters But anyways getting back to mercy uh, these new changes to me have pretty much eliminated her ability to resurrect uh, Mercy is no longer going to be able to make up for a mistake She's not going to be able to resurrect a pick uh, early on in a team fight uh, her resurrect is very it's incredibly situational now. You're not going to be able to get it off at any point in a team fight without getting killed, uh, because it just takes so long to get it off. You may be able to res somebody if your team has numbers. Um, you know, if you're like fighting six against three, it's possible she can get it off. But it's so slow now; it feels really, really sluggish and really bad, and it's really hard to get a res off uh, in a team fight. More often than not, you're only going to get a res after the fight's over with, and you can bring somebody back so they don't have to run all the way back from spawn. Uh, but her resurrect right now to me the games I played and the games I had um, other mercies on my team It just felt useless. It's it's not really An ultimate ability so mercy has really lost her impact to swing a team fight in terms of bringing people back uh, Most people would hang on to their Valkyrie to get those two quick reses in the middle of a team fight and bring your team back in But that is really no longer the case. That's not how she's gonna be able to play anymore so that's really the biggest problem with her now is it feels almost like she's lacking in ability and that's what I, I think Blizzard went a little too far with these changes is it just doesn't feel like Mercy has a nice kit anymore. Um, her resurrect is, is fairly useless. Uh, it's just not going to be something you're going to use at all throughout the matches. Before you might get six, seven, eight reses in a match. Now you're going to be lucky if you get two or three. Uh, at best. Now, I'm sure the, the really good pro players and the grandmasters will still do very well with her, but overall through the rest of the other ranks, it just feels like it, it was a bit much, a little bit too big of a nerf. Now, the good thing though about this is Mercy is still going to be viable, I think. Despite this change, she's just going to have a different play style. People are going to be playing her a little bit differently. Now she's going to be a little bit better at sustaining through a team fight, and you're still going to need to have a Mercy on your team because if 
you have a mercy and the other team doesn't, she's going to get her ultimate still uh, because her ultimate charges very quickly. And she's going to be able to use that ultimate now more, f more frequently in a match because she doesn't have to hold it to get those resurrects. Now she can just pop that ult to start a team fight. Her team's getting AOE healed and damage boosted, whether you know whatever she decides to do there. And it's going to give her team an advantage in that team fight, especially if the other team does not have a Mercy. She's going to be able to sustain her team and most likely uh, carry them through that fight. Now, she's not going to be able to, like I said, turn a team fight by bringing people back, but I think she's still going to be very viable for helping her team uh, sustain through a team fight. So again, I don't think her pick rate is going to fall off that much. I think you're still going to see her a lot uh, in competitive. I think she's still going to be a must pick when it comes to a healer. I think you're going to see a lot of uh, Mercy Moira uh, combinations when you go into competitive uh, because Mercy is still very strong. She's one of the strongest sustained healers in the game. Um, Anna's not in a good spot right now because Dive Comp is kind of ruling and Anna's just not very good at countering that. She gets dove and she's the, she dies very quickly. Uh, Zenyatta is a better pick than Anna right now. Uh, Lucio's kind of faded away into obscurity. I, you don't really see him much at all. So it's really Moira and Mercy and Zenyatta right now. Especially with the Overwatch League, uh, seeing all the Zenyatta gameplay there. A lot of people are picking up Zen and bringing him into uh, the support role a little bit more than he's used to. Um, so that's pretty much you know what I think is going to happen here. I don't think Mercy's going away. Uh, much to some people's chagrin, I think some people are going to be irritated they still see her all the time. But she's not going to have that infuriating um, impact on a team fight that so many DPS players uh, didn't like. Uh, not, li not liking the fact they have to prioritize targets before they use certain abilities, which, uh, you know, I don't know. I think Blizzard kind of caters to them a little bit too much. I think the nerfs here were a little overboard with Mercy. Uh, personally, I would have given her one Resurrect in her ultimate. I would have shortened the time like they did. That's really all I would have done and made the Resurrect take like a half a second instead of this 1.75 seconds, you know, where it's really hard for you to even get it off, even in the ultimate. So I think they could have toned it down a little bit, and a lot of people told them, uh, even when it was on PTR, that was a little too much. But Blizzard doesn't have a good history of listening to people, even when they put things on the PTR. Uh, there are changes that still make it into the game, like Junkrat, we're going to talk about that in another video. Um, that really should have never gotten into the game in the first place. And I think these Mercy nerfs are a little extreme. And a lot of times it sometimes feels like Blizzard just makes changes to heroes to affect pick rates. Um, not because they actually needed the changes. So anyways guys, that's my take on the new changes that uh, happened to today with the patch to Mercy. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're a Mercy main, are you still going to play her? Uh, I personally did not find her enjoyable at all to play uh, when I used her after the patch. She just... I, she just does not fit my play style. She's a very boring character to play now, even more boring now that they took away the good parts of her Valkyrie. So it just really, it's not an appealing character for me to play. But you guys may, may think differently. You may think the nerfs are great. You may not like the nerf. But anyways, I would love to hear your thoughts down below as always. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you as always for watching. And I will see you again next time.